Hi guys, uh, just a quick video to try and help people out with the dev error 6068 or their game crashing halfway through a game. Um, whereas that was happening to me, I was getting the dev error 6068 one minute and then the next minute it was just shutting down my PC altogether. So uh, after a lot of research over the past two days, uh, I've managed to solve the problem. What I did was, well the first step you should, you should do is open battle.net go to options game settings and you want to add the additional command line argument hyphen d 3 d 11 basically uh, that just forces it to run in DirectX 11 instead of DirectX 12 which is the uh, the default click done you next you want to click blizzard settings and you want to put this to exit battle.net completely. So basically, once you launch the game, it closes um, battle.net in the background. Okay, uh, give that a go. If that doesn't work, you want to go into the next step, which is in File Explorer, Documents, Call of Duty, Players, Advanced Options. You want to change Video Memory Scale to 0.5 and the renderer work counter to 2. You're more, more than likely you'll have 0 0.85 and 4. So change that to 0 0.5 and 2. And then hit file, save and close. Close that. Give that a go. And if that doesn't work, go on to the next step, which is open battle.net. Press play on the game. Let it load up. Right, you want to click Multiplayer or Warzone, just whatever one's fine. Open that. And then you want to go to your taskbar, right click it, go to Task Manager, More Details. You want to go to Details, go down to Modern Warfare, Set Priority. And you want to set that to normal. A lot of people have high priority. Um, just set it to normal. And then exit that. The next thing you want to do is go into your file explorer. And this is the this is the um, the main thing that worked for me. So a lot of the other steps that I have just done there, everyone's tr trying them at the moment. Some succeeding with it, and some is it's still going on. So, this one worked really well for me. So, you open up File Explorer, you go in to local disk D drive, battle.net, Call of Duty, scroll down here, and what you'll see here is this is the game type here. So, you want to go to View. File name extensions, and you'll see it's .exe. You want to rename that to .exe1. And once you do that, it'll create a new box. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. It'll create a new box there. Okay, so what you do is you minimize that. You then close the game. Are you sure you want to go back to the desktop? Yes. Battle.net will open again. Or it should. If not, double click it, open it. And then see it's it's initializing at the bottom, so it's changing its settings. Okay, and that's it done. So what you want to do is just click your file, go back to that new one that you created there and just delete it. So you have to do that every single time you want to play the game. Not everything else, just that last step you have to do. Which once you get the hang of it, it, it doesn't take minutes. And then you click play. And then that should be it. Another thing it's worth mentioning is make sure all your drivers are up to date and your Windows 10 is up to date as well. 
another thing that it might possibly work for you, um, which I've seen it's worked for a, a couple other people, is you go open up your AMD Radeon software or your NVIDIA, whatever you're using, and hit the well, go into performance, tune in, and undervolt your GPU. Uh, for some reason, Call of Duty, uh, maybe other games as well, I'm not too sure, but Call of Duty especially doesn't like overclock GPUs um, or CPUs for that matter. So give that a go. I uh, hope this video was was helpful. Um, it's my first YouTube video, so let me know if there's anything that could change. Maybe you spoke a bit fast. Um, yep, just leave a, a like and a comment. Thank you.